So what we've got here is stage three of the 2012 Giro Tour of Italy. We've got a Ferrari takes down, doesn't hold his line, swings over, takes out like Finney and, and Cavendish and a few other riders. So here's the video. Here's the video. Check this out. Parte Goss, parte Goss con Aedo alla sua ruota. Anche Farrar prova a uscire. Goss prova a resistere. C'è un'altra caduta. Un'altra bruttissima caduta, vediamo Goss che resiste al ritorno di Aedo, Matthew Goss vince la... Che Cavendish prova a lanciarsi, prende la ruota e si lancia in questo momento, la rivediamo, non è ancora avvenuto lui, no, lui. ecco la sbandata ah, sì. di Ferrari. Non c'entra nulla, sì, sono passati mia, mia. che botta ragazzi, Mamma. non c'entra nulla, non c'entra nulla neppure Ferrari perché si è allargato, c'è stato... Con... Watch that in slow-mo, Ferrari comes across, boom, it's like Finney's wheel, he's taken out there, we won that, so have a look at it again, a bit slower, boom, just not holding his line, his foot's now unclipped, looks like his foot, un... look at that bunny hop there. Bang, here we go, some riders come down. And uh, that's what happens in the high speed crashes. See from another angle here. Boom, riders just coming down, bikes getting broken. And uh, I think Matthew Goss comes to the win. So the Ferrari says he pulled his foot and that caused him to go. To me, it looked like he just <laughs> fucking didn't hold his line and just swung right out and took out someone's front wheel. What are your thoughts? Post your comments and criticisms down below. And you can imagine how many carbon fiber bikes got broken in this crash. I mean, carbon cracks so easily. It's like bars, stems, wheels, frames, forks, boom, shattered. <laughs> Probably $100,000 worth of bikes got damaged in this, uh, this crash. Crazy.